Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are continuing and going back to the labyrinth. Going to check out the other three labyrinths now, as promised. We tried Night Warrior and Assassin last time. We're going for Archer, Mechanic, and Priest now. I kind of did Wizard already in my initial labyrinth video update, first impressions thing. Anyway, let's start with Archer because we have no archers, like we don't have anything. I think we actually only have Luna as an archer that is like raised. Yeah, Luna, and that's pretty much it. So this is gonna be a pain in the ass, but uh, let's see what we can, do. literally, a three-star arch. We can take a three-star arch with us. Damn, I have no archers. I thought I had more heroes raised than this. Let's also go ahead and take Phil up, boy, and I don't know, maybe a real DPS? Maybe we don't need healing, at least not for the first one. There seems to be a lot of enemies here, so we're gonna try Nyx to start off with, and his Trident of the Deep. I think we have those slimes to deal with this time. Also, apologies, by the way, that there's no sound. I don't know why, but it doesn't feel like having sound. You can see I turn up the volume, but there's no sound. Well, we're just gonna give Luna a pocket watch, I guess. All right, that should do. I'm not gonna bother gearing up Arch because like he ain't gonna do anything anyway. We got continuously heals and stops enemy from receiving buffs. I don't think we really, we really have any buffs anyway. There are a ton of enemies, holy crap. All right, so hopefully Nyx can do some good stuff here. Let's not do continuous actually, so we can check out the buffs afterwards. I'm just gonna let them auto. Oh, this is like a multi-stage because here we have the worms. Oh no, Arch, don't die. You can do it, buddy. Give everyone a shield, a very useful shield that stayed there for a good, like, you know, half of a second or something. And now we got the slimes to deal with. So I think Nyx is still pretty decent here because there are always like four enemies and again, four more enemies. Uh, there goes Arch, but uh, that was expected anyway. I would actually be happy if we could clear the first two floors on this one with just kind of our uh, tank and one and a half DPS. Luna's actually not doing super bad being in like uh, basically a physical focus team there with Philop. Uh, you know, almost, yeah, about half the damage of Nyx, which is saying something. Oh, is there another stage? Oh, now we have the boss. Oh no, El Rosed. She is very, very tough. Uh, or at least that's how I remember her because uh, if you don't yeah now there's a bunch of those dudes back there Maybe they're not gonna be a huge problem at least on stage one um, Luna took quite a bit of damage and if she keeps staying stunned forever, then she's gonna die Well, she's doing uh, They both have life steal, which is good, which is why we don't really need a healer Well, it's probably necessary in the later stages to stop her from casting her active and summoning those dudes back there but at least for this one it doesn't seem too hard. I mean, you can see how long it's taking us with only one sort of half DPS as our archer there. And of course, arch is completely useless as at, at three star. So um, I don't know. I kind of don't feel like I even should try floor two. I will try it. I don't have high hopes, let's say. They have high CC resist, which is fine because we don't have any CC ears really and inflict speed damage and stun on enemy at regular intervals. So nothing we can really do about that anyway. So let's just go ahead and start. Well, the first wave doesn't seem to be any problem. Arch did die already, but we can consider him not there anyway. So yeah, second wave actually over very quickly as well, which is quite surprising. Um, it looks like we may have a small chance here. And also Philop's lifesteal is actually doing fine as well. We don't really need a healer, it seems yet. The damage difference between Nyx and Luna is much more noticeable in this one. Nyx is doing about five times more damage than Luna now. I would actually be impressed and uh, quite surprised if we can kill El Rosed. Uh, I'm very expecting Luna to die quite quickly because she got like half dead, you know, in the first stage. And the first stage is supposed to be easy peasy lemon squeeze me. The second stage definitely doesn't seem any more or less difficult than the first stage so far. It's also going either as fast or faster. Bad things are happening now. We got, mm, they're stunned to, to crap, but uh, they should life steal up now, which is good. All right, yeah, Luna's really not doing anything this time around, which I'm a little bit, you know, it's weird. It's like the damage Luna had kind of went into Nyx. Ah, wait, there she goes. Come on, kill her before she does that ball. Well, okay, damn. I'm very surprised we were able to do that, to be honest. We're gonna try floor three just because. I know we're gonna die, though. 
Uh, removes negative effects at regular, okay, we don't really have any stuff like that. Im damage on regular, okay. So basically the same as before, it doesn't really affect us too much. First stage did take quite a bit longer than the B4. Second stage was just as fast though. Third stage is also a bit slow and you can see Philop taking a tiny bit of damage there. Oh, okay. Luna died to the Ballista and uh, it was right at the end though. So, so this would be a stage where we would need to replace Nyx with a healer and we would need to get two actual good archers. I mean, Luna is definitely not bad. Um, she probably should rather be T5. She should probably have at least a somewhat higher unique weapon, uh, five star common treasure at least, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, if Philip had a bit more lifesteal or if we had at least somewhat of a sub healer in there, we could probably do it over T never mind, because Nyx just died now. Well, with what we're working with, I'm actually surprised we were even able to clear the second stage. So we're going to be moving on to the mechanic stage now. Uh, I think we'll do a little bit better here since we have at least Mitra. I don't... do we have any other... I am, I'm sure we have at least another mechanic. Like, we could use Crow, even though I'm sure he's not going to do that great, but uh, it would probably be better than nothing. We only have just the boss here. Sadly, he does have an attack reduction as well as high P dodge. So that is pretty bad since both of those mechanics are physical. All right, I guess they're all pretty much decent enough. Let's go ahead and try the first one. I'm actually not sure if these mummies are considered skeletons or undead. What the hell is going on with Mitra? Why is he constantly dying? Oh, he probably has no life steal. Well, okay, Mitra died, but I think we should be able to do at least the first stage anyway. So now we got becomes invincible at regular intervals, which is definitely needed since he already has his like pyramid thing there. And uh, reduce enemy mana. All right, that's pretty annoying. Well, here's one with attack, crit, crit damage, and life steal. So we're gonna go ahead and equip that and try the next one. So I'm gonna try and control Crow a little bit just cause I know he is very uh, manual dependent. I don't know, he has like 40 stacks now. I guess this boss doesn't cleanse them so he's actually pretty decent here. Uh, so gonna try and get those 100 stacks and time it for when his pyramid disappears which is like right, oh now he has a different shield. Oh geez, I don't know. I think he, I think he had that shield. That's really annoying that he has the pyramid shield and then invincibility sometimes. It's just kind of, it's really annoying to time crow with these sort of conditions. Let's just try, hope to get lucky. Nope, <laughs> it appeared right, oh okay. But it only stays for like two or three seconds. So what's going on with the third, oh God, what's this? Increase enemy's third skill cooldown at regular intervals. Jesus, really? Crit chance 300 up. I'm not sure if he can do that cooldown stuff. Oh, yes, he can do that cooldown stuff before even using it. Um, let's get a few more stacks on him before we do crows. And, uh, hmm. Oh, uh, Philop, why did you die? My Philop has 7.6 million HP. The P and M defense aren't super high, but, uh, I don't know. It seems like he shouldn't be dying that quick unless something weird is happening. Okay, yeah, all of a sudden he did a massive attack that took away half of his HP. Uh, I'm not sure what was up with that. Okay, what, what is that? W w what is he doing? Is he like becoming enraged or something? Cause he like starts moving a lot faster randomly. Guess I'm giving up on that for now. Let's check out the priest where we need two priests. We can take Mediana and a uh, different priest. Mediana can do a little bit of damage as well. Just gonna be a little bit hard. I guess one DPS and one tank might do the trick. Reduced P damage and stops enemy from receiving buffs. He is magic based, so I think the other healer we're gonna take is Lias because she is a bit of magic protecting. Got Lias some gear, so let's go ahead and start. Uh, what is this purple bull crap? He keeps spawning. I guess I just don't know enough about the individual monsters. I never really had a need to look at them because, you know, what is that? That's doing so much damage like to everyone, it must be a certain percentage of your HP because like Philip is dying just as fast as the others. And uh, that shouldn't be the case. Of course, he's much harder to heal. All right, well that's done, let's move on to the second. Oh great, he has another 300 crit and greatly reduced attack. He was doing so much damage just on the first one, so that's kind of bizarre. But I mean, we have two healers there, so it actually should be enough healing. Yeah, this is seeming to go much faster already. Mitra is doing much more damage than he was already, even though this is the second floor. 
Um, everyone's also taking a bit more damage, and I don't know. Okay, what the hell? All right, I guess I'm going to try and manual at least uh, Mediana a bit. Save her healing for when he's doing this purple bull crap. Mm, or when it gets dangerous. Like, yeah, I guess we'll try now and save the little burst healing for when I see they're getting low. Yeah, Philip needs some help now. Of course, that did nothing. Wow. Yeah, I need probably a lower HP tank. It's just Philip is so well built, I think. Too well built, apparently, because they can't heal him. Oh, go, damn it. Mediana, do it. Oh, man, that was close. Uh, I think we got it. Yeah. And I've never seen these debuffs and buffs before. Increases defense when inflicted by CC can be stacked up to 100 times. Wow. Thankfully, I don't, don't think I have that much CC in my team and uh, greatly reduces enemy crit chance for 10 seconds at regular intervals. How annoying! Let's just go with the same team, see what we can do. So we've been fighting here for like nearly a minute already, I think. Uh, is it, does it start at 4 minutes? Regardless, we've been fighting here for a long time and he is just not taking any damage at all. Uh, Mitra's not doing anything, and uh, he's only at 9 stacks, I believe, of this defensive stuff. Or is that 117? Is that the... are those the defensive... okay, well I'm dead. Yep, um, no chance with that team. I wouldn't know what else to put in there, honestly. I'm not sure what those 113 stacks were. Can I, can I like see more information on this guy? Like what are, what his skills are and stuff? I don't think I can, maybe in the index. Yeah, but I guess you can really just see his basic stats that we could see there anyway, so whatever. But I guess that'll do it for today. It seems like my limit on most of them is floor two. <laughs> I think you definitely need specialized teams for each of these individually and at least two good of each class that can really, probably two specifically, you know, like for the assassin you may need two specific assassins instead of just two raised assassins, stuff like that. So this is definitely very much end game. I would say uh, for veteran players, if you want to clear all four floors, it's going to be very, very hard. I mean, I have a pretty decent roster, I would say, of T5s, almost two good of each class raised, uh, but maybe not the right ones, or maybe I just haven't experimented enough. Regardless, tell me what your experience is with Royal Underground Labyrinth. Uh, any strategies, feel free to share them down in the comments below. Leaving a like if you'd have it to enjoy is also greatly appreciated. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time.